the eighth reason why, why art is important, because art has to do with identity. It is through art that we shape our identity. And I think as Christians, we can relate to that. Imagine a Sunday service without hymns. I mean, our identity is very much based on, on the hymns we sing. Uh, when I look here, you know, right and left at the artwork, this shapes our identity. What is a Christian church without Christian art, without Christian music? This is really our identity. And for me, it is very important to work on shaping a dynamic identity for our people through the art. And for me as a pastor, actually, this becomes even more important because if you come to Christmas Lutheran Church and you worship with us, you will discover actually that our liturgy is based on 19th century Southern German liturgy. People in Southern Germany, they have changed their liturgy already 10 times since that time and we hold to that holy liturgy. If you come to Christmas Lutheran Church and you look at the stained glass window from the 19th century, they are marvelous. But you know, you think Jesus was originally from Scandinavia <laughs> with his blue eyes and blonde hair even golden hair, you know, like a bit maybe Irish or something, you know. And I still remember when I challenged one of the most famous Palestinian Christian artists to do for us a painting with the Last Supper. And you know, he wanted also because, you know, he wanted to do it like the Scandinavian way. I said, no, I would like to do it Palestinian way. Because remember, Jesus was Middle Easterner, right? In fact, you know, uh, in many airports today in the world, if he were to come again, he will be stopped. And I just couldn't believe it because, you know, that artist, he is Christian, he is Lutheran, he's smart, just could not imagine Jesus as a Middle Easterner. Anyhow, after six months of working with him intensely and challenging him, we had this marvelous Last Supper painting that is now the original at our uh, restaurant, actually, called the Upper Room. And I remember I had a group of uh, Catholic priests, Palestinian, Ar Arab Catholic priests visiting us. I was showing them that painting. And, oh, you know, they were angry at me. How dare, they told me, how dare can you paint Christ not with blue eyes and blonde hair? I said, you know, who said that Jesus had blue eyes and blonde hair? You know, they came with this Veronica thing and uh, I said, you know what? I don't care and we should not care if Jesus had blue eyes or blonde eyes or black eyes or green eyes. Who cares? This is not why he came. He came to save us. But if you cannot imagine Christ but with, with blue eyes and you have brown eyes, then there is a, you have a problem with your identity. And this is what we have to, to talk about, not about Jesus. 
It's about your identity as a Palestinian Christian. You know, when, when African Americans were, 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 were painting Jesus as a black person, not that he was black, but it's about their identity because they saw Jesus as someone of them. And so art is very much about identity. And especially to develop a Christian contextual identity is something that is really at the heart of our ministry, and this is why art is important. <clears throat> 